Hey, Sub-Zero. What is it, Scorpion? I dare you to do the Ice Bucket Challenge. Huh, is that all? I'm the Ice Master. I'm gonna destroy this challenge. Frosty! <laughs> What's up fellow collectors, today I'm talking about the Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero 4 inch action figure. It's got 15 points of articulation as you can see there. Comes with this little energy or ice wand thing. Uh, so we'll see what that's all about. Looking pretty good in the packaging, it's kind of more of a modern take on Sub-Zero from like Mortal Kombat 9. You get this nice Mortal Kombat Dragon logo in the back and then in the front here. On the back here you get a nice description of Sub-Zero. If you want to read this, go ahead and pause the video. Then you also get a rendered picture of what Mr. Sub-Zero looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open this figure up and review it. Alright, I got this guy opened up and out of the package, I gotta say. Pretty cool figure. There are a little bit of uh, loose joints here and there, but uh, for the most part, it is pretty nice. Didn't really fall apart on me, which I'm happy about. So it comes with this ice sword here. There's a lot of dry brushing all around it to make it look more icy and uh, cold looking. Only thing I don't like is the uh, packaging really did bend this up to where it's kind of wobbly looking. Probably have to take a blow dryer and heat it up so that way it's nice and straight again. But it does fit right into his hands very nicely. So that's pretty good. He's not going to drop it or let go of it. It's actually a really nice tight hold, which I'm happy about. Now looking at the actual detail of the figure, I think it actually came out pretty good. I do like the way Sub-Zero's costume came out. Very, very nicely sculpted and nicely done with the paint applications here. You can see some of the Lin Kuei kind of buttons on the front of his suit here. Some nice sculpting on the belt looks really good. And then I really like down here at his shins. I think that looks really good as well. I really like these bicep gauntlet things up there. I think that looks really good. This one didn't really come out too well. Seems like they might have missed putting on the uh, silver paint dry brushing like they did with this one. But it is what it is. I really do enjoy his mask and his face the most because, you know, that's the most iconic Sub-Zero thing about him that I think is his mask and his blue outfit. Now talking about the articulation on this guy is actually pretty good for a little tiny figure with 15 points of articulation. You get some good head articulation there. You get a nice 360 here at the upper arm, a nice ball hinge at the elbow. Then you can swivel the hands here. He's got quite a bit of articulation here at the waist. I think that looks really good. His legs can kick out very, very far. And they can kick out front very far as well, which is really good for this Mortal Kombat figure because, you know, you want these guys to be able to do some crazy ninja kicks and stuff. Get a nice ball hinge at the knee there, and ball hinge ankles. But they're a little stiff, so I'm not going to try and mess around with those too much. I don't want those to break. Now, here he is in comparison to the classic version of Sub-Zero, and I guess you'd probably consider this Sub-Zero to be like his older brother, and this would be the younger brother version of Sub-Zero if you looked at it in that light. I really do like the classic version of Sub-Zero and I'm more of a fan of the classic ninjas all together, you know. I know there wasn't really a whole lot of detail with those ninjas, but they just really, you know, it's how I remember Mortal Kombat. You know, I just remember that the red ninja was Ermac and then the green ninja was Reptile and the black ninja was Noob and, you know... I didn't really care for all the little details and stuff that they added into the character because it kind of takes away from the character a little bit more to me than it does, you know, having that classic iconic look. And, you know, that's just personal preference. Um, I do really think that these figures are really awesome, though, regardless of however they are designed. Overall, though, this is a pretty cool figure, and I'm very excited about it to add it to my collection. I am a fan of Sub-Zero and Scorpion. They're probably... Two of my all-time favorite characters when it comes to, like, science fiction type stuff, you know, the superhero things. You know, those are the two characters that are really iconic for me, um, and that's why I love Mortal Kombat, and that's why I collect Mortal Kombat stuff. So, check out my videos, guys. i got a ton of other Mortal Kombat stuff on my channel. I also do animations. I collect Halo, Walking Dead, Mega Bloks as well. I put animations in all of my reviews. So, yeah, guys, I will see you in my next video, and thank you all for watching.